Hey everybody, David Walker here at Street Volkswagen Amarillo, Texas. It is Test Drive Tuesday, and we're here with the 2017 VW Jetta, a compact sedan that's been around for quite a while. It's very popular here in Amarillo. In fact, uh, for the last several months, the Jetta has been the number one selling compact in Amarillo uh, because people like it. Let's see why. I like to start back at the back. Now this is the Jetta SE, which is kind of the middle of the line. Uh, so there's the SEL above it, there's the S below it, there's also the performance variant of the, uh, of the Jetta, which is the GLI. The SE is a nice little sweet spot where you get a ton of content for not a whole lot of money. The SE has a 1.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder that we'll talk a little more about in a minute. Uh, starting with the trunk, much bigger trunk than you would expect on a compact car. You'll also find a roadside assistance kit that has jumper cables, a reflective triangle, a little multi-tool, zip ties, work gloves, a rain poncho. Uh, interestingly enough, I had a friend who lived in Germany for a while tell me that it's against the law to drive in Germany without a roadside assistance kit like this in your car, uh, which <laughs> that's kind of an interesting law, but it's nice to have. You'll also find the cargo management system here. You have these little uh, blocks that are Velcro on the bottom, so you can make a little retaining wall around your roadside assistance kit, your milk, your eggs, uh, whatever you don't want rolling and tumbling around your trunk. Pretty cool stuff. Another interesting thing that VW always gives you is a place where you can grab your hatch or your trunk lid to close it without putting your hands on your paint. So you have that on both sides here on the Jetta's trunk and we can shut it just like that. Backup camera comes standard on the Jetta as well. Moving up to the back seat, you'll notice in the SE, you do have leatherette seating, which is a really nice feature at this price point. Uh, this price point being right around 23,000 for the Jetta SE with the automatic. Uh, you do have a cigarette lighter style power point in the back. You also have a nice fold down center armrest for your friends sitting in the back with cup holders. Uh, so your friends that end up sitting in the back of your compact car, they're not going to be mad at you. It's a nice place to be. Moving on up to the cockpit, and we will talk a little more about this. If you notice on the sticker, 28 miles per gallon in the city, 38 on the highway, amazing gas mileage. And with this 1.4, you're also going to see when you come and drive one that it is not underpowered by any stretch. 150 horsepower, 184 pound-feet of torque out of that turbocharged 1.4. Uh, you'll notice very nice appointments. Again, the leatherette seating, your front seats are heated. You've got a sunroof in the SE. Uh, you have just that rock solid German engineered feel. This car is a blast to drive and we're gonna do that right now. I'll see you in the car. All right, well, we are driving the Volkswagen Jetta SE. Uh, one thing that I haven't adjusted yet because I wanted you to get to see it is the adjustable armrest. So if we look down here, the armrest adjusts up and down and forward and back. So we can pull it up, put it at the height we like. Uh, if you bring it all the way up and back down, it resets and then it just locks in wherever you want it. So that's about right for me. We've got cup holders down here, a six speed automatic in the uh, Jetta SE, made it to that 1.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder. You may all notice, also notice on the touch screen, uh, we're running Android Auto. So in the Jetta SE, we have Volkswagen's uh, composition media audio system, which has App Connect. App Connect includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Uh, so what happens on your phone happens up here. So your interface will be very familiar from day one. You don't have to learn an all new audio system. Uh, your music apps will integrate. So I've got Spotify running here. It's also fully voice command compatible, whether you're using Siri on Apple or uh, Google Now with Android Auto. Another interesting thing, the car doesn't have a nav system but it runs Google Maps navigation through Android Auto, which is incredible. You don't have to pay more money for an upgrade to a nav system. It's just right there because your phone has it. All of my music apps, as I mentioned before, integrate so I can listen to Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Play, uh, Apple Music, whatever it is that you listen to. I don't know if you can hear that guy's exhaust, but that happens on a test drive video. Here we go. Uh, you'll also notice, I don't know if you'll notice on the video, but 
tons of torque out of this 1.4, 184 pound-feet of torque. I think I already mentioned that, but I'm going to say it again because I'm excited about it. And 150 horsepower, uh, managed beautifully by that six-speed automatic. Uh, so again, you get insane gas mileage, but you don't sacrifice a really nice acceleration to get it. Uh, that's one thing you got to love about those Germans. Uh, now, continuing on with Android Auto, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. I got excited about the acceleration. Uh, we have full integration with Google now, so I can voice command music. I can voice command texting. I can uh, call people just anything that I need to do, anything that I can do with my phone, I can do here. I can even do this. How tall is Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise is five feet seven inches tall. You'd think he was taller. Anyway, uh, I can also ask for pretty much anything that I want to listen to. And if I just tell it to play music on Spotify, it shuffles my entire library. Play music on Spotify. Okay, asking to play music. So if you're techie, you love goofing around with your phone, you can do that now in your vehicle without being unsafe because it all happens with your hands on the wheel. You actually don't even have to tap the microphone up here. You can long press the voice command button here or you can just say, okay, Google. Navigate to Palace Coffee. Showing results for Palace Coffee. Ah, there are three of them there, so we have to pick one. And there we go. Everything happens just so slick and smooth. Uh, you don't take you your attention your off the road. By 1300. We'll go ahead and dismiss that. Uh, aside from that, uh, as I mentioned before, driving the Jetta is just a wonderful thing. Uh, I think since Amarillo didn't have a VW dealer for nearly 30 years before we opened, VW is just not on a lot of people's radar, which is really sad because you get a really fun to drive German engineered car for the same price that you'd pay for any other car. So a, a Jetta doesn't cost any more than any other compact car, but you get that, that wonderful, just rock solid German engineered feel. And you really need to come and find out what that's all about. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it. So once again, 2017 Jetta SE, come and check one out. We'll see you soon at Street Volkswagen, Amarillo, Texas.